what is going on 3D printers. I just got back from World Maker Fair in New York City and today we're going to talk about 3D printing with your cell phone for 130 bucks. Alright, so I went to New York City for World Maker Fair. A few things blew my mind. This is the first one. I saw the Ono 3D printer that uses your cell phone to 3D print in resin. The thing only costs 130 bucks. For $130 printing in resin, I mean the thing, it's basically free. It's ridiculous. I talked to Giacomo, one of the reps there, and, and he really, he blew me away. Uh, so the Ono printer, the way that it works is like other resin printers, you have a liquid resin which hardens when it's hit by a certain wavelength. The difference is that the Ono resins actually harden under visible light rather than ultraviolet light. So you can actually use your smartphone screen to create the images. Um, so the way it works is that we have the app which you run and then in here this is the resin tank. There's a printing film which goes on top to protect the phone from the resin. Once you have that, you pour in the resin. And the top here, there's the platform which raises up and down. And your phone basically goes through a series, a slideshow of images of white on black. So it'll do the first image of the layer, then the platform will raise up. It'll do the next image and so on and so forth until you have the full 3D part. Um, so the advantage of that is the printer only costs $130 because the light source, the power source, it's your phone, which you already have. Um, and then also as you get better phones with better screens, your resolution actually increases. So you can still use the same printer, but just put in a new phone and you get a better print. That's amazing, man. Uh, yeah. Tell me what resins you carry. So resins, we have eight different kinds. There's four different colors. Um, you can see them here. There's black, yellow, red, and blue, as well as a more a clear resin, which is more translucent. Um, we also have a very hard, very stiff resin, and also a flexible one. And so yeah, the printer, the best printing resolution is a height of 100 microns, but you can push it to 50 microns. You start getting like more failures at that point, but you can actually reach that. Um, and then the XY resolution depends entirely on your phone, um, but if you have like a 4K display, you can reach up to 42 microns in resolution. Now, do you have to put these in alcohol, like the Form 2 resin print? Um, you, no, so after it's cured, what we do is you don't need to soak them or anything. We just take like a little brush with some alcohol just to wipe off whatever like little drops of like uncured resin there are and then just put it in water to just like kind of get rid of the rest of that. Then you leave it out and if you just leave it in the sunlight, if there's any like liquid still inside between layers, that'll completely cure. And what about the, the castable resin? What's the price difference on the, the flexible and the castable? Resins are all $15 for the 100 milliliter bottles. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's great. Wow. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm hoping to have another video up next week. It's going to be on a Delta Wasp 3MT. The thing is gigantic. If you want to see some of my pictures from Maker Fair, check me out on Instagram or on my Facebook page. Right now my website's down because I've been hacked a few times and I'm switching hosts, but hopefully I'll be up in a month. Until then, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget, 3D printing is the future and the future's right now. See ya.